It's now about 15 hours since Wolfram Alpha went live last night, and two good things have happened in the intervening time. Um, one, a lot of the folks here have managed to get some sleep, even though the launch site's been manned uh, 24 hours a day. And secondly, as Teo is about to tell us, there's been uh, progress on logging and understanding what's going on in the system. Yes, well, one of the most exciting things is that we finally now actually have our stats server working properly so that we're able to see what has been going on with our servers for the past 15 or 17 hours or so. Can we go take, take a, look? a look? Yeah. Hmm. So this is showing uh, the top one, the past hour's worth of queries. This one is showing the past eight hours worth. Something see, happened here? Yeah. yeah, well, just before 1 p.m. today, so about uh, almost two hours ago, um, all of a sudden, boom. Now, this is completely an artifact of the statistics server. This is kind of what it looked like all last night. Um, and, you know, we really didn't know what was going on. Now we know that the, the query stream was about somewhat over 80 uh, queries per second. So this scale here is the number of people sending queries to Wolfram Alpha per second. And it's going up to about 80 at the moment. Right, and that's, that's now, it undoubtedly was much higher last night when we first went live and there were people from all over coming. Um, so it's good now that we actually can see what's going on. And could, do we know where the people are, are actually located? You, you can use the IP address, I think, to make yeah, a guess. So the, yeah. the same statistics server is collecting information about the location of each query. This is showing about the past 500 most recent queries. So that's a few seconds worth of uh, query stream coming in. You can see, uh, and this is, the, this is daylight and this is nighttime, that's sort of the, the line of dusk. So Europe here is just going into Europe, it's, uh, the night. It's yeah. evening in Europe. Um, it's uh, well, obviously a lot of activity from the United States, a lot of activity from Europe. India, um, New Zealand, New Zealand yeah. South America. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, are you generally um, pleased with the level of successful queries that uh, are being handled yeah, by the system? It's, it's running at about 70% roughly. So about 70% mm. of people are getting um, good, meaty answers, actual specific answers to their questions. Um, the remainder are getting our, our sort of fall through page where there are suggestions about things that might work better for you. Um, I think that that's a pretty good ratio considering that these are sort of people from the wild coming in without coaching about what ought to work. Um, and although Alpha's coverage is, is very good in some areas, there are some other areas where it's not so good um, and incomplete. And yet, despite that, we're getting this really quite good ratio. Now, I, I know there have been a couple of, well, a few problems you're aware of. Right. Well, now, now that we have good statistics and can see what the servers are actually doing, um, we have a much better handle on what they're not doing right. Um, most people, most of the time, are getting good results. Uh, Unfortunately, due to sort of the luck of the draw of which IP address you get of the potential servers you could be going to, some of them are not working quite right. So some people are still getting the uh, sorry Dave, the, the load is too high message. Um, that's that's a, a faulty message. The load is actually not too high. Um, but if you're unlucky enough to go to the wrong server, you'll get that message. Some people and that's random, it. right? There's nothing people can... It's random. There's nothing mm. you can do about it. But we know, we think we know what the underlying cause is. It's being worked on. We expect to have it fixed uh, soon. Uh, another thing that's happening is some people are getting results, but the results are very incomplete and, and there's no indication of that. So there are sort of these pods and you may be missing many pods. So you should actually get a much richer answer back. Um, on the again, page, on the results page. Uh, on the results page. Mm -hmm. We think we know the cause, but, and it's being worked on. And another big problem is that several of the real-time data feeds, for example, weather, um, are not being propagated out to all of the servers properly. So again, based on the luck of the draw where you go, if you ask for the current weather, uh, you may get weather from a day and a half ago, um, as opposed to right now weather, which is what you should be getting. Uh, again, has been identified, and uh, all of these problems we're quite confident will be fixed um, well before Monday when we actually officially launch the service. Okay, well, there's folks working here on a shift system really constantly, isn't there, between now and then? Constantly. No yeah. one's allowed to sleep. Um, <laughs> Well, occasionally, you know, we let them go for Okay, a well, bit. keep checking the blog, uh, Wolfram Alpha blog, and we'll update you on how progress is going, and we may come back with another video piece if we have more news.